I am procrastinating writer, I've always known as James Edwards, so let's begin, shall we? A story cannot happen with terrible characters, it's really a fact. A story comes about their actions and consequences and how they act and what they do in the world. A terrible character then breeds a story that has to rely on circumstance and deus ex machina and illogical inconsistent things just to try and keep the story going. That's a really good sign of that you may need to work on character. So here's five questions to answer to see if your protagonist sucks. Question one. Does your character have the most interesting actions to take and therefore the most interesting consequences to deal with? When I say interesting in this context, interesting is any action, consequence, anything that happens that develops a character, develops a story, reveals more of the emotion or the ploy of what's going on in the world. So does your character damn a dragon in the head, slide down its neck, roll away down its body, saves it off and just in time as this terrifying dragon thing is crashing on it, but then, oh no, the orphan then goes to the orphanage and gets possessed by a demon that starts murdering everyone and then the, your main protagonist has to then deal with the guilt and the question of did they do the right thing because what they did was eventually a murderer actually run free and kill about 50 orphans. If so, you score a point. Ding 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 ding! Question 2. Does your character develop? The dilemma and the conflicts that happen have to in some way influence your main protagonist and how they either think or feel. They have to react and have emotional and rational responses. So if your protagonist's love interest walks into an Adam Levine music video and gets her ass eaten by a shark bear or a bear shark and your protagonist then beats the shit out of that shark bear bear shark and actually throughout the novel it is having an actual effect on that person then you score a point. Question number three. Does your character have a compelling motivation? Why does your character do the thing that they do? Is it a compelling enough motivation? Is it a compelling enough reason? Is there other things that they can do instead of taking this one action? Either their motivation makes sense because of maybe their deep personal beliefs or their emotional state, or their personality or circumstances around them that force them in one direction. Is your protagonist going on an epic quest to save their parents and no one else will because no one else can actually physically do it because they're probably all will bound chaired and they're up like a hill, Mount Mordor or something. If so, you score a point. Number four, is your character likable? This is kind of a very vague, broad question that we have to ask ourselves, but I find this is probably the best way to ask yourself, is your character likable? Nobody likes bland face, cocksuckers who are friendly as anything, and nobody likes someone whose favourite pastime is kicking pregnant women in the stomach. No one really likes any of those two extreme characters. I think we've evolved far past the whole cut out good and cut out evil. There's grey in between. The most likable characters are the ones who have traits that either we want or that we like in people, but they have flaws that balance them out. Therefore, they're not archetypes and stereotypes. So I'll answer this. Does your character have a sense of decorum? Uh, do they have moments of humour, of intelligence and even vulnerability offset by a very real speech pattern? Do they talk normally? Do they use real words? If so, you score a point. Does your character only reply in snappy remarks to just about fucking everything? Then you don't score a point. That's really fucking annoying if you do that constantly with every character. Not everyone is C.K. Lewis, alright? Question 5. Does your character deal with things that we as human beings have to deal with or deal with things that we as human beings are greatly fearful of ever having to face? Using universal questions and universal fears that we all have at some point in our lives is a very good way of creating timeless characters. Does your character actually deal with something that we either deal with constantly and that resonates with us, that takes up our entire lives? Or perhaps they have to deal with something that we fear that we would never ever want to be in. If so, then give yourself a really good point for that one. But it's just to ease your curiosity. I mean, if you've got those things down and you're very much aware of how to not only create the illusion of humanity in a character, but also create humanity in a character, not just methodically and systematically adding things to try and make a human, then you're on the right track. The sixth question is up to you guys. I mean, I can't do it in this video because this is the first one. However, in the next video, I want to bring back this topic and bring up my most favorite question to ask. It doesn't have to be serious, it can be funny, it can be entertaining, it could be incredibly specific to a genre. Go wild, I want to hear what you have to say. If you like this video, then please press like. If you want to follow me and see more, then press subscribe. Especially if you've given me a sixth question, 
to ask people in the next episode because then you know you're on that video and you can go, oh my god, I'm on a video. But this is my special 62 subscriber video and also 62 is a lot of a cleaner number than 69. It's also even. I've been Procrastinating Writer, otherwise known as Jen Lillard. Anyway, you lot take care. I hope you like.